Hello, and uh, welcome to another edition of Selling Life in Annuities. I'm Tim Booby. I'm the National Sales Director for Annuities Record Marketing. And with me today is Steve Allison, our Regional Vice President and Internal Annuity Specialist uh, on the Gordon Marketing Annuity Team. And today our topic is, should your clients consider a Roth conversion? So let's get into this. Uh, Steve, mm-hmm. Roth conversions, you know, we hear a lot about them. They seem to be like one of the most uh, compelling opportunities within the retirement income market. But what is a Roth conversion? Yeah, it's, we've been getting a lot more questions about it. So, yeah, basically, sim- the simplest thing is a way of describing Roth conversion is you're just you're, tr- you're basically taking money out of an IRA and putting it into a Roth IRA. Right? And, and with doing that, though, you're going to end up paying taxes on the money you take out from your IRA. But you're creating a separate account in your Roth to be able to have tax-free you know, growth out of that whenever you take money out into the future. Right. And so this is interesting. You know, we're landing on a Roth conversion. I think it kind of comes down to the fact that a Roth is a highly desirable mm-hmm. uh, uh, investment to have in retirement, but you, you can only, you're limited in terms of how you can get into it, right? The, the annual limit is how much? Well, uh, it's either six or 7,000 based on your age. Uh, you know, and then if you take anything out prior to 59 and a half, you still have to deal with what the IRS is 10% penalty on that. So, so it's a great tool to have, but it's, Difficult or limited in terms of how you can get into it, mm-hmm. but the Roth conversion gives us an opportunity for retirement ordered money, 401ks and IRAs, to be converted yeah. into that sought after Roth, right? Yeah, that, that's that's a way that they're able to be able to get more get more money into that Roth IRA by doing conversions because they can only contribute so much to it. Right. So that's a, that's a really good uh, tool for people in their retirement so, planning. So let's talk a little bit about about the mechanics in terms of how it works. So uh, high level, how does the Roth conversion work? Yeah, you know, simply you're just taking money from an IRA right into a Roth IRA. You know, a, a simple kind of you know idea that some some clients should consider when when using when doing this would be to work with a CPA or a tax planner on on this. So, like an idea would be typically in my my um, experience, a lot of clients they want to have somewhere around five thousand dollars after tax in their reti- in their retirement income. Uh, so you just start doing simple math on that. That's sixty thousand a year. If you gross that up to say seventy five thousand, um, married filing jointly couples, that's the top top of the ta- top of the twelve percent tax bracket is eighty nine thousand. So right there, there's fourteen thousand left in that in that tax bracket that they could potentially convert and only have to pay twelve percent on that tax. But you know, a lot of times people are using the standard deductions. So that's another twenty seven thousand off that. So that brings that number down to a little bit under fifty. And now they're looking at potentially having a range of close to 40,000 they can convert every year. So doing small conversions in a tax bracket that they're comfortable in can really work well in people's tax plan. Yeah, that's interesting. So you're, you're talking about, you mentioned small conversions. And mm-hmm. when we talk about the Roth conversion, we're not always talking about a lump sum, we're not converting an entire IRA or 401k in one lump sum at one time. Right. In, in fact, the annuity carriers have accommodated this, right? Yeah, so yeah, we have a couple carriers that actually work particularly for this. They they will you know set up your IRA annuity, and then whenever you start doing conversions out of that IRA annuity, they have like basically a set up a mirrored Roth IRA annuity that matches the same allocations that you have set up your IRA, and it just immediately just moves money over whenever you submit a form to to, to do those transfers. Yeah, and as, and as I understand that, then um, those are like a. Uh, under the under the owner's control, right? They can decide how much they want to convert every year, mm-hmm. if any. Yeah. But it's up to them, right? They don't have to. If they have a hundred thousand dollars in, and they can convert twenty thousand dollars a year every year for five years, or ten thousand dollars a year mm-hmm. every year for ten years, or nothing some years, right? right. And that's and that's exactly right. And that's why you'd again want to work with the CPA on this to make sure that you're not tripping over any tax brackets that you don't want to deal with, or you know, worried about maybe getting your Social Security taxed more. Or if you're concerned about the Irma Cliff with Medicare and having to pay too high premiums on your Medicare, those are a couple, you know, disadvantages that people can accidentally trip over and not know that they're doing it if they don't have the proper help. Right. So the one thing that um, I'm wondering about that I, that I hear a lot about and I get a lot of questions about is what's the five year rule? What is mm-hmm. the you know and briefly you know what's yeah. the five year rule that agents need to be yeah. aware of? So the five year rule is pretty simple. It's if you were to take money out of a Roth IRA before the Roth's even five years old, before the first, has to be five years from the first contribution that you make into your Roth IRA, then the, the money's going to, the, the gains, I mean, is are taxed. 
So you need to wait five years to be able to take out any gain on that tax-free. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can't just put it into a Roth one day and take it out the next day and have it be tax-free. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. There's a five-year waiting period. Right, for the gain, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. So the Roth really is, we know, uh, a pretty um, sought-after retirement vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, so if agents are interested in learning more about this or engaging it or getting more information from us to help their clients, how do they go about doing that? Yeah, they can just reach out to me. You know, my, my extension is 140. We can certainly be able to get you, you know, different flyers, uh, different kind of type of conversations and you know, case design for you that's going to be specific for your client in their situation. Great. Good. So for the benefit of those watching this video, uh, let's give uh, our, our folks uh, our contact information so they can reach out to us. So you can please call, you can call me, Tim Luby, on the annuity team or Steve Allison. Any of us on the annuity team would be happy to help you with any of the questions that you have on the Roth IRA. We've got some phenomenal resources that can help you. We've got flyers that are done by the carriers. We've got carriers that have these mirrored products set up to, to support you. So we really have a wealth of information to help you, uh, you know, go after the Roth uh, conversion uh, as those opportunities come up. But with that, I think we're, we're kind of getting low on time. So with that, um, please take a moment to like and subscribe uh, to the SLA videos. We would appreciate that very much. And with that, uh, thank you for your time and attention today and happy selling. <music>